What's up guys, so it's time to mount the coolers on here. So right now I'm installing all the hardware on the motherboard side, but I had to come into a little problem. So as you see these spacers, they go right on the corners, but this one, the latch is too long. So I just filed it down a little bit and now it fits perfectly. So let's move on. All right, so we got the first side done. Now I'm gonna move on to the second side. All right, so this side, we're gonna have to send out two sides on this one. So here's the pieces. Now let me go send them down. Here's how they look all sanded down. Now let's check if they fit. All right, we got one side to fit, so I'm gonna go sand it on that one a little more because this one's a little more tighter. All right, after a bit more sanding, I got all of them to fit on, so now let's screw on the mounting gear. All right, here's the last screw going in. Now we can mount the actual coolers. All right, guys, so we got all the mounting hardware on, so now we're gonna put the paste on. I'm just using the generic thermal paste that came with the, the cooler, so here we go. Just gonna get everywhere kinda up. Here's one. All right, now here's the paste for the second CPU. These CPUs require way more paste than regular ones because of the bigger IHS, so just give me a generous amount. All right, so here's the core itself. Let's take off the little protector for the heat pipes. There we go. Now we're just gonna screw it on. All right, here's the first one, so now I'm gonna screw on the second one. All right, both coolers are on finally. I'm gonna attach the fans, plug it in. All right guys, so the build is complete. I really like how it looks. I think it looks really good. No RGB, which is perfect for the server build, of course. So now I'm just waiting on a case and a power supply to test this, but I will be updating you guys soon. Thank you for watching.